Good evening from the Cook Crafted Workshop. This is Ethan. I wanted to cover just a couple things that customers should expect when they send their wood off to be double dyed and stabilized. For me, the best things are burls. If it's not burl, I'm going to show you what happens when you attempt to dye or double dye. So this one Again, is box elder burl. Alright, so this is the only one that has been misted or finished. The rest of them have not been. They are dry with no finish. So, quick example would be this is box elder burl. So, we're going to start here. We've got blue, tad of purple, and we've got red. I was running low on dye, so this is going to look light pink. Next to this, from the same piece of box elder, this was on the outside of the log that was not burl, this was the burl. These were dyed at the exact same time, the exact same way. With the non burl, just a plain wood that has the same density everywhere, the colors are going to mix and blotch together and I don't think it looks cool at all. Again, same dye, same process. This one might only have three colors in it. I guess there's a little bit of purple. Again, this has not been misted or sprayed. So this shows you what a burl will do compared to just straight wood on an attempt to double dye. Just a straight dye. This was box elder. Dyed and soaked for six hours. It does have some flame, so I didn't want to cover that up. Uh, this will be casted. Another piece of box elder that is not burl. I attempted to get some different colors by dropping the, the dye in. And there's no grain popping. It's just blotchy colors. Um, so again... Don't expect non-burl or different density wood to look anything like the cool photos that people are posting of double dyed wood. All right, um, I think I got some bottle stopper blanks that have been triple dyed. And as I'm experimenting, I'm realizing how much of what colors and which one should go first. Um, I think this will be a very beautiful one. Some pink and purple. Um, this one was Pine Burl, which is extremely soft. And it's been triple dyed, but it looks reddish brown. Uh, the colors just bled together on this, even though it has some different figured wood grain colors didn't didn't pop like I wanted to um, this is box elder burl that was dark green on the first one but a light soak um, and then the red basically took over there is some green in there when I wet it so again just some tidbits for people that are sending their wood off to various people to get double dyed and stabilized um, it's got to be some awesome wood if you're expecting anything uh, like what some of these other people are posting on Facebook. If you send me plain wood, um, it's going to be hard to get it to look halfway decent. A single color is great, um, but getting more than one color, it's going to be hard. Um, and one more example, this is curly maple that was dyed a fairly dark blue and then I added uh, some red and it bled together to be this pinkish purplish yeah anyway all right enjoy